Welcome back to Tech Nuggets. This is a brand new install series videos and this series videos contains some of the common installation which can be reused in some of the upcoming or future videos and also it can be used as standalone installation video guide for your development. In this video we will install Tomcat 10 one of the most popular JTD container. What is Apache Tomcat 10? So Apache Tomcat is, the, is an open source implementation of Jakarta EE platform. So what does it Jakarta EE platform contains? It contains Jakarta servlet, server pages, expression language, WebSocket, annotations, and authentications. These are the specifications. The implementation of this comes out as a Apache Tomcat 10. The Jakarta EE platform is the evolution of Java EE platform. Previously it was, previously it was called as Java EE. And uh, Tomcat 10 and later implementation specification developed as part of Jakarta EE. Okay. So the earlier version of Tomcat 10 was all called based on the specification based on Java EE. So what are the advantages of Apache Tomcat? So First thing, it's a broader community. So as of today, almost like 65% of the 65% uh, of the application uses Tomcat, and it's widely used. And Apache 2.0 license, well documented. It is easy to use it, and most of the features are all documented. The documentation is perfectly complete, and Top of all that, it's a production ready. It's a production grade, um, say J2E container, or you say, you can call it both sides. You can say web application, or you can call it as application server. It falls in between this, because when you say application server, it has some of the enterprise grade features like um, load balancing, and there are additional features and extra, um, extra weightage comes with application servers. So this is lightweight. You don't need, if you want, you can add as additional feature. So this falls between container and application server. Why I'm saying application server? If you want to add some of your backend applications with Java EE and uh, you call through your servlet and almost you can call this an application server itself. Okay, let's dive into installation process. And uh, download Apache Tomcat. The first thing, go ahead and say Tomcat download. So when you go to Apache Tomcat page, you have uh, two versions, Apache Tomcat 9 and Tomcat 10. 9 was with the uh, Java EE 8 platform. Uh, 10 is with Jakarta EE platform. Okay, Jakarta EE 9 platform. So that's the difference. We'll go ahead and take uh, Tomcat 10. Click on download. Okay, so you have a choice of um, we can navigations in the keys and the file. So my OS is Windows 64 bit. I'll take Windows 64 bit zip. Okay, so I'll put it in installable. So this is supposed to be a small one. Okay, so after the download, I would like to extract this file. Uh, this can be any choice. However, my choice would be separate folder called Java programs. The reason is we need to set this path somewhere. So when you set the system variable part, it's better to have a um, short name rather than program files, all that, right? With a space. So better keep it a short name and put it there. Okay, I'll go ahead and put this. Okay, so let's extract here. Okay, so we have done so it's under C drive C Java programs 
tomcat so in order to test this click on this you need to go to bin and say cmd we need to start a file called start startup right dr start so it says it's unable to start neither java home nor jre home environment is not set okay so the next step will go ahead and set that let us set the environment variable go to system let's make this a system variable click on new say java home and uh, my directory is c colon jdk 17.1 okay now done or you can set jre home also if you don't have java home. say okay okay you're done now let's go back to the command prompt you would like to click on start and see whether it starts it will not the reason is the command prompt does not recognize the recent change of the environment variable what you set okay we need to have a new command prompt let's say startup we need to close and open it let's do that okay let's create and open a command prompt from here click on starter yep congratulations so we have done the tomcat setup and we are able to start it once it started the next thing is to validate the deploy validate the installation right so first thing you have to observe which port is it running because uh, you see there is a port 8080 http port 8080 this is a default port of tomcat which was usually it runs on 8080 this can be customized using config file um, and you can see that 8080 here so also you know, there are some couple of environment variables Catalina home the Catalina home is nothing but Tomcat home and base directory jre home so whatever you set java home that's treating as a jre home okay let's go ahead and check this in the browser it should open up the default uh, root web app you should be able to see that localhost 8080 Congratulations again, you are able to see the startup page of Tomcat. Okay, so this comes with uh, some of the sample applications. This is the welcome page, in fact, welcome app. And you will see there is an example. You will find these are all default examples. So, JSP2, then servlets, and we have WebSocket examples. These are all new. Okay, so this is our visit on the Tomcat setup. Thank you.